Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Night Owl Collage. I'm Amber, and today I have a mini tutorial for you. I had a couple of subscribers ask me how to um, do the editing and printing multiple images on an iPad. So um, I don't have an iPad, but I do have an iPhone. And I figured out that it's basically the same process. And it actually ended up being very, very easy. These were all printed from my iPhone. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Um, if you wanna follow along, go ahead and pause the video and download an, um, an app called Photo Printing. It's got a little blue icon with a printer on it. So go ahead and download that and I will show you exactly how to do this, to edit this down, and to print them, print multiple pages from your iPhone or iPad. So um, let's go over to my iPhone and I will show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, take my files, that my digital files from my kit and put them onto my phone. I'm gonna download them onto my phone. So I have mine stored on OneDrive. If you already have your uh, files on your phone or iPad, you can skip this step. But I'm just going to find my files. I'm going to the Nana Roses Ephemera Kit here. And then I'm going to um, go to the three dots up there at the top. And I'm going to click download there. And it's going to save it to my photo album. So I'm going to do that with each page. So there's my background page, my uh, beach that the little girl's on. And then I'm going to go and save the pages of ephemera that I want from the Sounds of Summer kit. <clears throat> so on this one, you can see I just go into the three dots and br to bring up that screen that says download for each of those pages. It looks a little bit different, but it's the same. I'm just clicking the three dots and pr pressing download. So these will all be saved to my photos. Now I'm going to go into my photo app and pull up uh, my journal card there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press um, edit up there at the top right. <clears throat> and then I'm going to click the crop icon right there. And then I'm just going to use my finger to um, adjust the frame to where I want to crop it and just crop that one journal card out. And then I'm going to click done in the bottom right corner. Okay, now I'm going into my photos to select the beach scene and I'm going to click edit again and crop. I'm starting to crop this, but then I realize that my aspect ratio isn't correct and it isn't staying true to the original ratio. So I'm going to go up to this aspect ratio icon at the top right. I'm going to click that and down at the bottom, it says free form right now, but I want original. So I'm going to click original to keep the aspect ratio true to the original um, digital. So now I can use my fingers to crop the scene to where I want it and have it stay true to the original size. And then we're going to click done when we're satisfied and that will save it to our photos. So then we're going to open up the photo printing app that I had you download before. It's a really simple app to use. We're going to see a plus sign when we open it up. We're going to click on that and we're going to add um, the photos that we want to print or the images we want to print. I'm going to start with the ephemera pages. So my first image is popping up here and you can see that I've already inputted the size that I want which is wallet size which is three by two inches or three and a half by two and a half inches. And then I'm going to use my fingers to adjust 
um, where I want the image in the frame. So you'll see me do that in a couple of seconds here that I'm going to move that image. Now that I've got it where I want it, I'm going to go down to the little blue arrow down at the bottom right to move to the next image and do the same adjustment. So here's our next image and I'm just going again to adjust it with my fingers inside the frame to have it um, in the position that I want it and then click the blue arrow again to our next image, adjust that one, click the blue arrow to the next image which is our last image, adjust that one and click the blue check mark. And now here we have our print screen. You can see under each image that there is a plus or minus with the number there that you can choose how many of each image you want to print on the page. I've chosen to print two of each image on the page. Um, you can see me adjust that last image to um, two images. And then we're going to click the printer icon down at the bottom of the page. Then we'll head to this screen. And we're going to click preview and that will um, take us to our printing page that will set up our printer and our paper that you usually see when you print from your iPhone or iPad. So from here, once I select my printer and paper size, it will give me a preview and then I will select print and that will take me back to the um, image page. So right now I want to print something else so I'm going to click that trash can icon and remove these images and add the next image I want to print which is the beach scene. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to scroll at the top to an eight and a half by 11 inch paper and I'm going to to click that switch icon there to switch the orientation. I just want to print one on my page then I click the preview and print. That takes me back to this page again. I'm going to delete that image and then I'm going to select my journal card. So I'm going to click the add button, click my journal card, and then I'm going to select a four by six size. Actually it's a six by four and then I switch it with that little icon again. And then I click the check mark and then I went to the preview page, the print page, so selected preview, but then I realized I didn't want to waste all that space. So I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to go back and I'm going to click cancel again and I'm going to select two images to the page so I don't waste all that space. I click preview and now I can see that I have two images on the page and I'm going ahead and click print. So that's really all there is to it. I hope this helps you guys. It was really fun for me to figure out how to do this. It was really easy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, let me know if you have any more questions. And I hope you have a great day, guys.